Oh my gosh. This is the cutest seed packaging ever. First of all, the chair strip is right over your address so you don't accidentally share your address. But this is my Baker Creek Rare Seeds package. Isn't it adorable? So we'll go through all my seeds here in a second. Um, but it comes with your receipt and this little happy growing cardboard thing. Your seeds are wrapped in these uh, Smile You've Got Seeds little cardboards to kind of keep them a little bit protected on their trip. And then these are the packets that I got. So first thing is they sent me a free seed as a thank you for my order. So it looks like it's some greens. Then I got, let's see, I'm going to try to separate them into flowers and foods. Um, so I, for my goth garden, I got the Black Devil Pansy and the Jet Black Hollyhocks. I also got some of this Elegance lavend Purple Lavender. This should bloom in the first year. Not a lot of lavender does. Um, I also got these Murasaki stalks. Um, these are edible flowers, so two words, which is great. Then for my goth garden, I got some purple tomatillos, some purple lady bok choy, and these gorgeous jigsaw peppers. The leaves are like this white and purple and green, and then the peppers themselves change colors as they um, ripen. And then some other random things that I just thought were super interesting is I got these Sugar Rush Peach Peppers. They're supposed to be jalapeno heat, I guess. And then last but not least, I got these Mexican Sour Gherkin Cucumbers, which they're little tiny ones and they're super, super cute. And I was just so intrigued. So we're gonna try these out this year. So that is what I got in my order. So a few more things to add to my seed packet um, container. And hopefully we will put some of these in planting pots very, very soon. Until then, I'm going to put them back in their little safe things and in their packaging until I can store them away. Did you order anything from Rare Seeds this year? Do you, or, um, sorry, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. They're out of Missouri. Um, so if you ordered anything, let me know what you ordered in the comments below. It is still March. I am working from home today and have a meeting here soon. Um, but one thing that I wanted to get done today um, is I picked up some berry bushes at my local hardware store over the weekend and I want to put them in pots so that they have a little bit of space because it's gonna be a little while before we actually put them in the ground. So I have two pots here that I pulled out of storage um, and I have a little bit of dirt in them from the raised boxes outside that are starting to thaw out. I have dishes drying over there, so I'm gonna grab my kitchen shears. Um, so we got a blackberry, which is a Ebony King, these were um, $10. Um, I think they were actually on sale when we got them. And we have a few berry bushes in the yard already, but um, we wanted to get a few more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull them out of these. The buckets are in the sink so that I can water them. I'm gonna pull these out of the plastic. I think the best way might be to um, cut down the plastic instead of trying to slide them out so that I don't damage them. Oh, they're wrapped. That's great. So it looks like they are. Put that in there. They are wrapped. We're gonna unwrap them and put them in these pots. These should just be root balls at the bottom. Let's see. Yeah, yeah perfect. Okay. So, there is our blackberry. And so, I'm also doing this in the sink so that I don't make a huge mess all of myself. I'm just going to dig down to the bottom of this pot. 
pull up him in there, get all his roots in there. We'll give him a good cover. Swap those. And then really saturate him up. So that he establishes in the pot for now. And then in a few months, when it's actually warm enough to put them outside, we can do that. Then the other one we got is this raspberry. It's the Caroline variety. Again, these were $10 when we got them. There we go. It looks like we are overly saturated now. Good, 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 good. I will let it drain out. These buckets do have drain holes in the bottom, which is great. Undo the zip tie. And cutting it did make it easier. Same thing on this one. It's also wrapped, which is great. Um, cool. So let's unwrap her. Try not to get my sweater all dirty since I do have a moving sweater. Looks like this one is in a different soil. She's got some very established roots going, it looks like. I don't know why I'm gendering my plants, but that is what we do. Um, so she's got very nice roots already kind of establishing, which is great. So again, I will dig a hole into the bottom of the pot, make sure her roots get covered. And she's grown a little crooked, so I'm gonna probably place her a little crooked so that she can grow straight up. There we go. Let's make sure that this is cool. Oh yeah, we have some circles in that one a little bit. So I'm doing it in the sink. We're gonna give her a good water. A lot of that'll probably drain into the sink, which is fine. And there we go. Now we have our berry set. Let's see. I had a lot of soil kind of run out of the pots, which is fine. I'm gonna figure out how to clean up my mess. I will. So these have little sheaths in the front so that you can take out what they are. And so I will take these to the front of my buckets. put them over little plates so that they don't make a huge mess wherever I put them in the greenhouse. I have a number of trays I put them in. All right. And so our first plantings of the season. There we go. <laughs> so I will attach the name cards to them once I find some tape in my house. Let's get all the dirt off of the counter. I moved most of the clean dishes so that we wouldn't make a huge mess. 
smart of me. And there we go. Now we have some some plants. So that's all for today. It's still snowy outside. It's been warm the last few days, but um, we are getting more snow this weekend. So while I would love to start planting outside, that is not the case. Here, let's take a quick look out the window. That's, that's where the garden is. So we're not ready yet. Too much snow. So I will see you guys soon and we'll do more greenhouse work.